Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sandra, if you haven't been here before. And today we are going to look at my November goals. So today is going to be a different video because I normally fill this out previously to filming it. So you guys will see me talk about it, but it's already written down. What I thought we could do today was actually talk and write at the same time, if that's possible. I don't know. Um, I know that Cindy Guntart Baldo used to do this, but she would do lives and then she would write through her goals and talk at the same time or do her live plan with me. I haven't had enough guts to do that yet. <laughs> and the video would be so long and there's not as many people watching like videos that are like two hours long. So, um, I figured we could just maybe perhaps, um, you know, talk about it as I write and I can pause here and there and, you know, write really fast. <laughs> Um, but actually just kind of do this whole thing together because I don't think I've done that. Um, so yeah, um, I'll show you how October is going actually. October, you know, October has been a rough month. We had one of our, our, like our son, our baby cystic fibrosis appointment this month. So those appointment months, uh, those months when we have appointments are always a little hard. Um, and plus we just had a lot going on this month. And, um, but yeah, you know what, we're, we're sitting at the 15th today, so it's halfway midway point. Um, and I always start thinking about my goals for the next month. Um, now I think what I would like to do is kind of flip back to the beginning of this book and, um, just look at, uh, what I actually have my goals to be. So like I look back at my action plan for each of my goals and also, the season here too because for example um kind of to see where where i'm at for the year i have on here right now is date night and holiday prep so i don't know how date night's go going to be going um chad's been working a lot he's actually working right now it's a weekend that i'm looking at this with you guys it's a weekend and he's working and um, yesterday he worked 12 and a half hours yesterday was saturday and yeah it's just been it's been nonstop work and I feel like it still isn't really getting us ahead. So our fine, one of our financial goals, like it's just not, not really helping us in that regard. It's been kind of feel like we're being pulled back still, you know? Um, but anyway, so I mean, and it's rough to you right before Christmas because we're, we're getting into the Christmas season here. I know for a lot of people in the States, um, you know, November, December are the Christmas season because you guys have uh, Thanksgiving in November, but our Thanksgiving was in October. So November is like kind of for us this in between cold month. That's kind of boring. There's no holidays, um, except for Remembrance Day here in Canada and there's no fun holidays. Like Thanksgiving is fun because you get together with family. Um, Christmas is fun because you, you know, it's again family but you know holiday shopping and and doing all the things but November there's not enough snow to do anything outside um it's almost too cold to even go for walks so November really is a not very nice month it's probably one of my least favorite months besides for February um so anyway the only thing that I have written on the calendar so far is my son's school stuff that's going on and I apologize I do have my son down here with me and he's a baby and he doesn't listen to reason. So I can't tell him to be quiet. Um, but he's safe because he's in his play yard. Thank goodness. Um, he has recently started crawling. So he is everywhere and he's a handful. And I, I wanted to try to get up early to do this video and it just wasn't plausible today. So here we are. Um, normally how I start these is I always look at the calendar first. Like I, for me, I think I... I, I know why they put this prepare page on the front because it's only using one page and then they can pair it with the, you know, the reflection page from the previous month. And then they put this on the first page. But for me, this is the start of my planning for my goals. Okay. So I need to know what's going on first. So do I have scheduled appointments? Do I have things for my son's school? Obviously I do. That's really where it starts for me because I do have goals, but I kind of have to fit my goals in between all of my already scheduled planned things that I've got going on. So the first thing that I do is I bring out my planner. I'm in the Franklin Covey Tyler Blinder, but I bring this out and instead of looking at my goals right away, like they're here, um, I don't have anything written here because I do this pretty much all in the same, the same go. Um, but I do look at quarter four. So um, these are the big things that I have going on. And so, for example, I have created a Christmas budget, right? Um, set up Christmas melodies. If I look at this month and I'm like, okay, 
realistically, am I going to be able to get to that? Um, you know, if I say it's the 15th and I'm like, okay, I've got two more weeks plus three days of this month, but like this whole week, I'm already busy doing my planner setups. So really I've only got one full week of like working on other stuff before I have to do my like monthly setup. So if I look at this list, I'm like, realistically, is that something I'll be able to get to you right now? And I don't know if it is. I've been wanting to do it. It's been on my radar. Um, but I think what we'll do is transfer something like that to November. So for example, that would be a good goal, you know, to right here, we cross it off here, write it here. Um, and that's a lot of times uh, with, in regards to gold, it's just reevaluation. You have to like look again and again and again. I look at my goals every day. Um, and it's to kind of re reiterate what I want out of my life, what I want out of my business, what I want for my family. And it really just helps me to focus better. Um, okay. So the first thing that I do, I should just get back to the basics here is I look at my future planning calendar. So I go to the month of November and then any days in here that, cause these are my personal days. Um, and I don't, I don't think I wrote down my son's school. Oh, I might have, but I take those days and I write them on this calendar now. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I also, I'm going to rewrite these because it was seriously like, um, messy. And I just remembered like, this is Remembrance Day. So my son literally has this is his, like, they call it now a fall break. Sorry, I had to do quotations because it irritates me with all the breaks that they now have. Back when I was in school, there was never this many breaks. So I'm just going to clean all that up and I'm going to, you probably use stickers to mark all my important dates and then we'll be right back. Okay, so now that I'm done the school thing that I kind of redid, it made it look pretty. Um, I'm going to add any other days. Um, for example, I do have a doctor's appointment on the 7th. Um, so I'm going to put a doctor's appointment and I'll put that in. I'll put it in green, I guess. Or do we want to blue, do blue? Let's do blue for doctor. So November 7th. Okay. So that is 11 a.m. Okay, and then if there's anything else, so I don't know what I did here. Um, so there is, so I've got um, Sephora Rouge Hall starts on the 5th, Daylight Savings Time. So maybe we'll add that. Uh, my mom's birthday is also, and then my, my niece's birthday. So what I'll do is different colors for all of those things. Um, so the birthdays I'll put in this green color. So we're going to say um, the fourth. That's actually really pretty green. 14th and the 16th, I've got birthdays. Um, daylight savings time we'll do in like a lighter teal color. So that's on the 5th. That means we save an hour of daylight here in Alberta. And then um, the Rouge Hall starts on the 5th as well. So I'll put that in a different color. Okay. And I think that goes until the 15th. So I'll put that again, the same color. And I'll just put last day of Rouge. Okay. So, and that's all I have going on for like date things in the month of November. So it's very important that you put those down first. So now I'm just going to fill them out quick. Okay, so now I'm going to put my future planning calendar away. And um, so now I can kind of look and see what I have going on. So it looks like my appointments and things that I need to like take care of are mostly the first two weeks of November. So like that's kind of nice because then I can focus more here. Um, like the last week, of course, will be um, actually this is perfect because this will be the last week of planning. So I'll be doing my planning here. Um, generally, I 
I, I do, if I've got important dates in my business stuff, I'll add it here. So like um, planning week, I could just put it here and just write a little, sorry, it's my bird. <laughs> um, planning week. Of course, every week is planning week for me, but this is like my, my monthly setup videos, which take a lot of time. So I put that there. So just to kind of keep that in mind. Okay, so the other thing is, um, my we were thinking this was a while ago. Actually, we were thinking this is we would go to Red Deer for Remembrance Day weekend. So Chad will probably either have the Friday off or he'll have the Monday off. We're not sure yet, but in lieu of Remembrance Day, we just need to figure out when. Um, and then whatever day that is, like we're going to go to Red Deer regardless. And but then my sister was like, oh, like if you're here in town. Um, Lorena McKenna is in concert and we were, I was thinking of taking my mom to that for her birthday and she's like you could come too and we, we could make it like a, a mother daughter thing and I was like but I think we might be in Red Deer so like all the plans are still kind of up in the air and for something like that you do need to buy tickets ahead of time so I don't think we'll be going because I did actually take my mom to Lorena McKenna many years ago but we did already go um so I'm just going to put here remembrance um so I'll put Red Deer visit and then I'll put Lorena McKenna on the side here okay um, and this is kind of your area to make notes and stuff so like just exactly is how I'm doing um, because I don't want to write those in my calendar pages yet like in the calendar dates because that's not a for sure thing it's just like a maybe so I just kind of like having that there the other thing you can do is use some type of like um, sticky note and then you can write it on the sticky note and then just move it from box to box if you have to um, okay so there's that um, and that's pretty much all I really put on here. You know, honestly, because um, my other goals really, well, you can schedule your goal. Like once you've set your goals, like what you want to accomplish for that month, you can schedule it after you've set it. But you always want to schedule that around the important dates that you already have established, right? So I skip this page for now. And then we come over here to the important to do's I'm excited for on my mind. I'm hopeful that I'm saying no to I'm saying yes to you. So this down here for me, it's kind of like setting boundaries. So I'm saying um, no to stressing out. I'm saying no to having negative people in my life, like boundaries, right? Um, this one could be, I am saying yes to cutting back my workload so I can focus on my spiritual content if I want to, right? Um, or I'm saying yes to relaxation time, watching more holiday movies, like, you know, doing more things that are going to make me feel good and not stressed out because, you know, the holiday season can be stressful if you let it, um, if you let it be. So um, the other two things, I'm, I'm not really, these three boxes here to me, they don't really resonate with me as much as I'd like them to. So I'm really happy that they did change that for next year. If you guys um, aren't familiar, um, the 2024 power sheets have come out. I do have a link down below. It is an affiliate link. If you would like to purchase something, you can use that link and I will get a small amount of commission at no extra cost to yourselves. But I just want to, um, to let you know that because if you're interested in goal setting and this is the first time, this book is so good it is it's so valuable um, I've been using this is going to be 2024 will be my fourth year and um, you know what I've, I've never done more than I've done in the last couple, like couple years so I'm I'm not just saying that like oh you should buy this because you should buy it so I get money that's not at all, at all. like I think that um, you know whoever your favorite supporter is that use power sheets it's support them like it, it is amazing you know um I love this book like I, I don't think I'll stop buying it even though I could I mean I could use the templates and just write it down in a, a journal but I like using the book right I like it I like writing things down in here so okay um so honestly, a lot of times I don't fill these out because I feel like it's a waste of space or they should have some other um, prompt that would be a little bit easier to work with. Actually, I'm going to show you the difference between uh, the new ones and these ones. Just hold on. So I did a quick run through of this already, but I think it'll just kind of show in real time. It'll help to show it. Oh, I'm so excited to have this right now. <laughs> I'm just going to show on... Um, 
yeah, this is it here. This is so cool. Okay, so this is the new one. I love this. And actually, you know what we should do? See, like, I don't think I need, like, on my calendar, I guess this page would just be, a, like, a reminder page. Like, hey, like, remember, you've got birthdays, you've got this. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing because this is, let's, let's just change the things here. Okay, and then down here, I can't change that, but that's okay. Um, we don't need that right now. I'm just excited to get into this one. There's so many new things in here that I'm really excited for. Um, number one, I'll show you <laughs> this one, weekly rhythms and ideas. This is like for the whole quarter, but I still think it's super cool. I love it. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to close that for now because I'm going to get all antsy to start writing on this one too. Okay. So for example, so the on my calendar, that one's pretty easy because all I have to do is kind of like flip back to the calendar and say, okay, um, we're going to put daylight savings. And um, then Sephora Hall. Connor's fall break. Um, potential red deer trip. So like, for example, things going through my mind at this point is like potential red deer trip. I mean, that means I need to save up money to pay for gas to get there. Um, so that's one of the things on my mind. Okay. Um, a doctor appointment. Okay. Um, Remembrance Day, I mean, okay, birthdays, so birthdays, mums, and Alora's. So I also need to save up for um, birthdays, right, because I want to get my, my mom something and my, my niece something. So now planning week, of course, I mean, that's always on my calendar. The other thing that's on my calendar is, like, I'm going to just put stats. So stats, budget close. Um, this stuff happens every first of every month, so it's not new to me, but just so I put it on there so I remember. Um, the other thing that I could also add on here are paydays and budget days. I don't know if I have some budget stickers in here. I just like using, in this planner, I'll just probably use my own stickers. I won't use like my cute little stickers that I have for uh, <laughs> um, like once more with love or anything. So I just use my little icons here and I'll just put on the paydays. Would have been five if we had switched back to Thursday, but we'll see. I think for December there's five again. Okay. And actually, I think at that point, my husband will be switching jobs again. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. So, um, and then the other thing I could just put on here is I would put budget just to remind myself. These are things I put on my like regular planner calendar though. So, um, but you know, budgeting is one of my, one of my goals. So it's nice to have it on here. Okay. So, so that's done. So I'm going to go back to here. Um, so that's on my calendar. Okay. Um, now if I look at on my mind, um, we'll get back to that one. So we're going to do goals to make progress on. So here's where I would come back to my goal action plans and just kind of look to see what 
things that I want to to do. Um, one thing that is on my mind, I'm just going to look at my calendar here, is our waste management thing. So like October 30th is our first seasonal pickup. And after that, that's seasonal yard waste. We have another one. It's Monday, November 27th. So I'm going to write that on there as well. I think that one needs a sticker. Okay, so I'm going to use this rake leaves one to show that that is seasonal yard waste. So we'll put that sticker there and it's called seasonal yard waste. So we have two days. One is November, October 30th and then this one is November 27th. So that kind of like lets us have time to um, rake up all our leaves and put them in clear plastic bags. We also have a green bin that I can put them in too, but these are days that we wouldn't actually get charged to put like leaves out. Um, we're only allowed to have so many garbage bags, it's usually three or four um, per week. <laughs> and it's so funny. It doesn't even matter how big your family is. You can have a family of one person, like just yourself, and you get the same size garbage can and you can pay for a bigger one, but it's not that much bigger. It fits maybe one more bag. Um, so it just sucks because you have a bigger family. It's already hard to pay for a bigger family, right? Like three kids compared to if you only have one kid or no kids and one person gets the same size garbage bag, garbage can. So it just doesn't really seem fair. <laughs> And I'm sick of hearing that it's your choice to have that many kids. I know it's my choice. It's your choice to stay single too, right? Um, but it just, I think they should, they should change the system. Like if, if you, like, man, I don't think they account, um, how many, how many people are in a family in the household though. So you can see how this like kind of gets filled out over time, right? Like it's not just, um, I have to put my deets on here right now and then that's it. So um, let's go back to goals. So that was a goal, but I did get sidetracked, didn't I? Okay, so let's see. So improve credit score. So is there anything that I can do um, regarding money this month that's going to help? So it, like this now always depends on how much my husband gets paid. If he misses a day, it kind of screws us over. If he gets paid overtime, I always find a place for the money. It either goes into savings, goes into the sinking funds, goes toward credit card debt. Um, so yeah, so I think what we're going to do, um, goals to make progress on. So we do need to make a Christmas budget, okay? So that's going to be one of them. So Xmas budget. And that also includes like the people we're buying for. So I'm going to say people list because as we're having more and more kids, it's really hard to keep buying for family, right? Like we have to pay for like all of the nieces and nephews. Now there's like seven of them. Like it's really, really difficult. And we're already struggling supporting our little family of three, like our, our three kids. So it's just, it seems to be getting harder and harder. And I almost want to put like a cap on it and say, you know what, let's not buy for each other's kids this year. But then that's no fun. It's always nice getting something from auntie and uncle too, right? Um, although they have like their own grandparents and they've got their siblings. Like, I don't know. It just seems like, Oh, it just seems like Christmas is always about money and there's always an expectation to like buy something. So in past years and this year, like always, we're going to keep it limited to $20 per kid. I already know that my kids are getting pajamas. And so I'm, I already know what I'm going to be buying my husband's sister's kid. I have to talk to my sister about her, her kids yet. Like we don't know there yet. So anyway, so that's the first thing about money. Um, the second thing is we could say, I could say a no spend month, but the problem is I already know that my Sephora, um, savings event is coming and I know that I do want to pick up a few things. So I, I'm not really going to say that unless I say no spend except for that. Like that's the exception. The other thing that I have to worry about is getting all of my planning content. So now is the time that I would normally go ahead and buy my inserts for Franklin. I'm not going to put a no spend because I know realistically that's not going to happen this month. Okay, so that's the first um, budget. Yeah, I'm not going to say. So like, I'm just going to basically say put as much savings. Um, savings like 
so technically like we have a lot of debt we should be on a debt payoff journey and this is always where i struggle because i'm like well we need to put as much money on debt as we can but the problem is like what we've been doing like things that we need to save for so for example our cars i need to get new thermostat in my jeep right away and it's 450 dollars. so i have 429 dollars saved in our savings and if i hadn't have saved that i would have had to put it on credit card so that's what i mean is that i can't i can't not put money in sinking funds if i don't want to spend money on credit card so this is where like i always get not confused but i feel like there's like a um kind of like a hard limit like you can't just slap it all towards debt all the time especially if you're still going to need to save for stuff that you need to buy for like pay for right so that's where i get stuck it's not confusion because i know very well what i need to do and i know the system it just it, i get stuck in there there's like a line that you just kind of like fall through the crack you know it's hard for me okay so i'm going to put savings so i'm going to skip that page and then the next goal um this says focus on biz without overdoing it or pushing myself too hard so the one thing here that i know i need to do is to set um like if i haven't done this already by the time we get to this point at least i can cross it off still but i want to do a poll on my channel on community channel um for december content because and then i'm going to plan december content so normally what I've done in the past, one year I did, I think I did like, I, I multitasked, like I went, like I, I just did it. I did Vlogmas, so I did a weekly vlog um, where I like, I would film stuff all week, like every day, and then I would post a, a, a vlog at the end of the week. And then I did Planmas at the same time. One year I just did Planmas, which is like showing you how I plan every day. Um, and the ideally the videos are shorter so it's easier to like film it edit it and then post it for you guys um and then one other year i just did vlogmas which was a daily vlog um so i was gonna do a budget or her budget i was gonna do a poll on my channel about that to see what everybody wanted to see this year um honestly it's hard for me to vlog daily it really is um because it's hard for me to remember to pick up my camera like it really or like my phone it, it is it's so hard and then plus those videos especially if you do b-roll it's so much more content and stuff to keep track of and um, when you have like three littles at home it's hard to like <laughs> it's just hard to do that so like i was thinking in my head just doing plan miss this year because that would be easy it's something i do anyway and then i can show you guys how i plan every single day how i use all my stuff together in conjunction um but we'll see i mean it just depends so anyway that's a big thing that i've been thinking about kind of going into the holiday season okay so that is the only one i think i really need to focus on um business goals you know i'm gonna kind of come down hard in 2024 and i'm gonna start actually like i'm gonna write a business plan because yes i don't have a business plan for my business but i need one um and I think my schedule right now is working for me. I actually increased my my um, my makeup videos to twice a week because I was trying to push out more more um, relevant and current content. So that's that's actually working for me because I've been going to karaoke a lot. I never went this weekend because I'm actually sick. My voice is kind of like gravelly, so I couldn't sing. So next weekend, hopefully. Okay, so this one is family focus and balance. So. <laughs> that was like intro to the new baby. He came December 30th last year. New routines. Um, so this is basically just everything that we do together. So um, goals to make progress on. So on my mind, I'm going to say date night, um, karaoke. Realistically, we can't go for dinner or anything. Although if we did have extra money this month, it would be really nice to see if we could take me and my family out for dinner. So I'm just going to put that um family dinner out so that's just one thing i would like to start you know kind of keeping on the back of my mind we wanted to do that once a month so we'll see see if it's affordable um and of course we are still going swimming every time that chad is home on saturday or sunday so i don't really i don't think i need to write that on there um okay so let's see what else Outdoor time activities, FaceTime other family, read your visits. 
I already have, do I have Red Deer Visit on here? Potential Red Deer Trip, yep. Um, not any new routines right now, we don't need that. Um, on my mind, helping Connor with school. Speaking of that, because it is Sunday, I'm just going to make a quick note for myself. Add that uh, my son has a French test. He's not here right now. He's actually with my mom. Um, but I have to add that to his school inserts or my, my, my school inserts for him in my planner for this week. Okay, so that is for family. The next one is home. So in November, what are we going to be doing around the house? So I really wanted to get the basement cleaned up. Um, it hasn't really been a focus for us right now, only because my husband is like working every weekend that he possibly can. Like yesterday, like I said, he worked 12 and a half hours. He was tired. He come, he comes home, he never even ate supper and crashed on the couch. Like his head was on my shoulder because he fell asleep. That's how exhausted he is. So um, for November, um, I think we need to work on the basement. That's definitely one of the things. And if I don't get the pantry cleaned out um, before this date, I'm also going to add the pantry on there. Um, I also want to do my makeup organization before I get my anything from Sephora. So basically cleaning out all my drawers in my makeup area. Um, and then the other thing was fall cleanup so I need to clean the plants like they're gonna they're already dying I stopped watering them because I just it was like a waste of water so I stopped watering um oh yeah okay so um basement pantry makeup organization and then I'll put that as a separate one so yard cleanup I'll just call it yard winterization. This is really the last hurrah that we'll be able to do all of that because like I said, the the 30th or the 27th of this month and then the 30th of October is the dates that they'll take seasonal yard waste. But you also have to keep in mind the weight of the bag. So um, the best place to put my plant waste is in the green bin. So I'll just do, do a few until it fills up, do a few until it fills up. They come every week. Actually, I should check that because after a while, they start only coming every second week. Um, okay, so right now we're on food scraps. Okay, so they stop coming every week. On November 10th, they're not coming. And that's when they stop coming every week. Ugh, okay. So November 10th, I'm also going to write that on my calendar here. Note food waste not picked up so that is the other problem is that because when things start to freeze and they the ground starts to basically be frozen the end of October that's when it starts to snow and stuff um and then it's frozen here it's like minus like you know anywhere between minus or zero if it's a good day to minus 20 sometimes minus 30 it depends so and that's degree celsius so food waste not picked up and I'll put no food waste. So I can't put um, tons of stuff in the green bin on those dates. So I need to try to do that before before they stop coming. Um, yeah, because things are frozen, so it no longer gets stinky and rotten. So they don't have to come as often, and that's why. And normally, if it's just our food waste, we don't even fill that bin up half the time. So I think now is my time. I'm going to start focusing on getting rid of my plants. Okay. So other home and hearth projects. The other thing I wanted to focus on was um, the Facebook buy and sell thing. Um, that's something I really wanted to get done because then we could also make, perhaps make more money, right? So Facebook buy and sell. I mean, I think this has been on my radar, on my list for how many months now? Like you guys keep seeing it in my planner from month to month to month. Okay, so... We won't be setting up a tree until December. So health and wellness. Um, I have a doctor's appointment to follow up. Um, doctor visits, meds tracking. So the only thing is just to keep up with meds. Keep up with water and meds. And that's just 
because I already have a habit tracker for that, that's just on my mind. It's not like an important to do or a goal to keep doing. It's just a habit that I'm focusing on doing every day. Okay. Um, and then the next one is fun and recreation. The one after, okay, I've still got a couple more. So fun and recreation, there probably won't be any of that. Um, we're not going anywhere because we can't afford it. I won't be getting my nails done because again, it's a money thing. Um, the only thing is will be swimming, potentially a movie. Like we haven't, I haven't taken my son to a movie in months. Um, maybe setting up the Wii. I think that would be fun. So let's set up the Wii. Um, board game night. Okay, maybe that's something to think about, especially when the nights get cold and we can't, um, you know, we can't go outside or something. So that's something. And then also, um, I'll just put swimming here, even though I wasn't going to swimming. And then that family dinner. So that would be a thing. And then date night karaoke for me and my husband. But my kids also need something to do, right? Like it's too cold to even go to the park right now. Okay. So the next one is personal growth and learning. So this is a big one for me. Um, the last one is friendships. So friendships. Um, my friend just actually had a surgery. And I haven't talked to her for a couple weeks now. So I'm just going to like put on here call Tressa. Talk. Um, also, we've been writing letters back and forth, so maybe I can write her a letter. Um, but yeah, like we haven't actually got together. We had plans to. Um, she's come over here quite a few times over the past summer. So, I mean, it's not like we haven't seen each other, but that is kind of something that I would like to, you know, to continue cultivating because it's nice to, to see other people that aren't kids, right? Okay, so then this one, personal growth and learning. I also have like spirituality stuff in here. And that's another struggle of mine is I've been wanting to focus on spirituality and I haven't been able to because everything else seems to get priority. So uh, my journaling has been good. That's one thing I've been able to keep up with. My tarot and oracle readings, I do that once every Monday. That's also something I've been able to do. Um, but reading goals, I have not been focusing on my reading um, I haven't been able to watch any YouTube videos or read, listen to any podcasts or any of that because I just simply don't have the time. And by the time I do, I'm too tired. I'm burnt out at the end of the day. And it's not for my work. I mean, I could probably work eight, nine hours every day and I'd be fine. But it's mostly being burnt out from my kiddos because, you know, I've got the three-year-old. Is she crazy? She's crazy. Okay. So um, I do want to make that goals to make progress on. So I'm just going to simply put... Um, spirituality and I'm going to put um, personal growth and learning okay and then I'm going to look at that after and just kind of see how I can brainstorm that so I might do a little bit of brainstorming or maybe we'll schedule it on the calendar like somehow <laughs> Um, it's again hard for me to follow a set schedule because I do have the three kids. Um, you know, I've got certain things in place. Like I know when I'm take my son to school, I know that, and then I know when I can focus on things. I do wake up at five usually, and I take my son to school eight. Well, it's like eight fifteen ish, um, and then before they wake up at seven seven thirty, I've got a couple of hours in the morning. But usually, I'm filming a video or I'm doing my planning or something like that, right? So it's always hard for me to try to squish that in. Okay, so how good are we for time? We're already at an hour. Holy smokes. So brainstorming your month. So now this is where you really kind of take these ideas, take everything that you've written down. Um, when I look back, like say I go back to um, October here. I just want to show you how that looks. So I already have a lot of things that I do um, on a monthly, weekly, and daily basis. And I already kind of have these things um, you know, written into the plan, so to speak. So <clears throat> now it's important for me to take these things, um, and put them on here so that I remember to put them on here. So let's see. Um, I'm just going to write these out and then we'll, I'll kind of do it step by step here. So 
For example, monthly ideas, set up we. Okay. Um, we're going to do maybe board game night. Swimming, hopefully twice in the month, hopefully. Karaoke. Date night. Um, letter to Tressa. Call. We haven't had a phone call in a long time, just talking about everything. Um, and then on my mind, so I'm going to put family dinner. It is stressful um, taking the kids out. <laughs> We went to BP's last time, and it not only cost a lot of money, but it was it was stressful. Um, okay, so weekly ideas. I have school on here, but that's um, Log Connor's school info. So what I do with that is I usually Sunday I call it my like my prep day. I always go in to his like online school thing and I check and make sure I've got all the dates written down, what's coming up this week. I write everything in, um, any important study reminders, test reading, anything like that. I put that in there. Um, keep up with water and meds. So that's um for me that's a daily thing. So I'll just put up here water and meds. It's kind of like my habit tracking stuff that I do. Okay, so that was everything that's on my mind and important to do. So now for um, on my calendar. So of course we've got daylight savings. Okay, so I'm basically copying this information over really. Um, Sephora haul. Connor's fall break. And these are kind of one-time events that I can put in the monthly. Um, Red Deer Road Trip. Road Trip. Um, November 7th doctor appointment. And birthdays. Okay, so those are one-time monthly events. And then um, as for goals, we can put that on here as well. So Xmas budget people list. So Xmas budget people. Um, and now this also includes setting up my melodies. Um, melodies are planners from Planners Anonymous from www.plannersanon.com if you're not familiar with them. Um, I order a monthly subscription kit from them every month, but they also have these planners that are convertible. So they are technically a B6 size. You can turn them into a traveler's notebook, a ring planner, like it's a six ring, like an A5 planner. Um, but for B6 and you can also use it like you slip in a, um, a disc bound notebook into the back. It fits a happy planner mini size um, or like some kind of, of bound book. Right. And that works too. So I've got these, I've got lots of them. Actually, I've got a few melodies, um, but two Christmas ones. So I'm going to set them up. One's going to be my Christmas planner, which I'm excited to show you guys and share with you, but I've got, that is another thing. So Xmas melodies, and I'm also going to do print, Planners Anonymous stickers, Xmas stickers. Um, a couple years ago, I bought this for 20 bucks. It was um, printable stickers from Planners Anonymous that are meant to go in one of these sticker books that coincide with Lights Planner Action. And that's another company that sells B6 size inserts that actually work with melodies. Um, and anyway, they're coordinating stickers that go in this little book that I have. And I want to print those so I can use them for this year. Um, it's kind of like a memory keeper slash, you know, um, a Christmas planner. It's really cool. I'm going to do a whole video on both those melodies. I'll do it all together because one's for my commonplace book and then one's for everything Christmas. And that's where I'll set up my Christmas budget. So that whole thing kind of goes together. Um, so then also savings. So a weekly idea that I usually focus on is my budget. So budgeting, savings. Okay, that will go in together. Um, and I'll just put Xmas savings budget. 
And then another thing that kind of goes along with that is expenses, but I do that every day. So if I go out and buy something or online, it writes, I get written down. It needs to be written down in my expense book. And I use the Budget Mom, um, Budget by Paycheck workbook from the Budget Mom. So then the next thing, let's see, that was everything to do with Christmas and savings. So the next one is poll on community channel for December content and then planning December content. So that is generally um, a monthly idea. So uh, here's where look at, here's where I'm running out of room. Um, this is where you can use a sticky note if you do find yourself running out of room. So I'm going to, this is going to be for everything monthly, okay? So I'll just kind of put this to the side here. So more monthly ideas. Um, so we're going into November. So this will be, I need to do an October um, monthly budget close. Okay. So that's for our personal budget. I also need to do my stats for my business analytics for my YouTube channels. Um, stats include, um, stats for my, my, um, my blog on my medium um, network thing that I use. And then also on my website analytics for my YouTube channels and for my Etsy shop, stuff like that. And then also I do financials, which I use this free program called Wave. It's amazing. It's completely free and it tracks just as good as QuickBooks or whatever else you use. Um, I use the paid version. I don't use a lot of the things on there. I just use it for tracking my analytics. Um, everything that I go in and out of my bank account, my business bank account gets tracked into this program and it's super, super easy. Okay. So uh, let's see here. So that is for um, monthly ideas. So other monthly ideas, for example, um, so that is December content. And then I'm going to put poll beside it because I need to do that with my YouTube channel or my, my community poll, poll, uh, community tab. Um, so then we're also going to have December goals. So that's going to be being planned next month, like this time next month. So about mid-November towards the end. Okay. Um, and then we also have December planner setup. That's always a really big one. Okay. Um, that happens at the end of November. And then I will also be setting up, so technically, I think this is happening in October, so I guess I don't have to put it here, but I'll be setting up my compact Franklin Covey for the month of November and December as well, but I'm changing my binder for November. So that's going to be a bigger switchover than my December one, because I'm going to keep the binder for December. Um, and all I do is I fill out the monthly calendar. Um, but this November is going to be for my compact December planner setup. Um, I mean, there'll also be the compact and the melodies are already on there. I did put that there. So that'll be a whole video. Um, I'll also have, yeah, see, and here's the thing is that, um, because I don't really have my business goals on here, there's a lot of goals that I don't focus on. So that's why I want to, for like for next year, focusing on my business goals is going to be a whole goal unto itself. Like it'll be a personal goal to focus on my business goals, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, we won't really talk about that right now because that's just kind of confusing. Okay. What else? Um, okay. So that's it for like monthly ideas. I'm pretty sure. So now if we go back to that prepare page, so that was, content for planning stuff. Now I've got the projects. So basement, pantry, makeup organization. So again, those are more monthly things because once they're done, that's it. So I'm going to put pantry, basement, makeup, organization. Sorry, this is really messy. Um, um, winterization yard winterization so i think it's gonna go in the monthly i just don't know if i'm gonna be running out of room on the actual tending list um 
it's going to be your winterization is technically like I can put that on the monthly and then cross off the bar as I do a little bit more. But I would like to start getting into like a weekly rhythm of doing that. So rake some leaves, put it in the green bin, um, take some of my plants, put them in the green bin. Um, because we have this big tree out front in our yard and it has berries and normally like wet leaves in spring are make eggs much more heavy and right now the leaves are all dry and crispy so it would be lighter but you'd be surprised at how fast a bag fills up and also if you pack it really really like really good the bags are super heavy and it's hard to carry so the people who pick them up won't take them if they're too heavy if they can't be over a certain limit um, so we have to be really careful with that and the berries make it really heavy. Um, so it's just easy to utilize the green bin, honestly, but I'd have to do that like starting now and do it every week until that November 3rd date when they start only picking up every two weeks. Um, okay, so the next thing on here is Facebook buy and sell projects. So that is another thing. Oh my gosh. So I would have to break that down, I think. So I'm going to do Facebook buy and sell that's a project I put yard winterization on the sticky note um, spirituality and personal growth and learning so coming back to my rhythms here so this is all the monthly okay there's a lot and now for weekly ideas I'm just going to copy what I have here so I've got planning and meal planning that's kind of like I do that all at the same time Okay, I've already got budgeting and paying bills on Friday. I've got my blog post on Monday and then blog writing on Tuesday. Sticker design and Facebook post on Wednesday. Um, so a big thing that I want to focus on for this month is... I actually want to focus on Wednesday. I want to have my entire schedule clear and just do sticker design because I want to focus on some Christmas designs now and that's all I want to do. I don't want to have to film a video. I don't want to have to do um, catch up for Monday or Tuesday. I want to make sure I get up at five, do my work, be productive, make sure I get everything done that I need to get done. Okay, so that's one of my big goals for, for work, I guess. Um, so I had sticker design. Monday journaling. So again, just sticking with one of the overarching goals here would be like sticking to my, my business schedule, right? Making sure that I get everything done that I want to get done. Um, and then I put professional development and spiritual. So this is where um, I want to focus on those things I was talking about earlier. I actually want to schedule them. Okay, so it's important that I focus on this. Um, I'm going to write a, a note in color here. My highlighter is getting mushy. Okay, so that's going to be a focus. I want to do that. And now for daily stuff. Again, this stuff doesn't really change. I've got expenses. Um, I have habits, this huge habit tracker that I track every day. Um, and medical, I've also got like a biohacking tracer, tracker that I have from Jane's Agenda that you can basically like track how much water, your medication, how much sleep, how you feel. And then you do like a line graph and then just kind of shows how your month is going and you can relate it to your cycle, which is super cool. Um, so I've been tracking that. Um, water intake, which is all a part of habits and medical, but I always add it because it's so important. Um, percussions for my son that's supposed to be done twice a day for 40 minutes a day 10 minute tidy just to keep so a 10 minute tidy is basically cleaning up my house my living area this space where we spend most of our time and that's for simply for my peace of mind because when I see a, a sink cluttered with dishes and like the kitchen counter ucky or messy and toys all over the living room I get anxiety that never used to happen it's been happening more and more frequently and it's it's not a good feeling at all okay and then the last thing was read daily so I usually read daily and when I don't read, I kind of feel like lost. I feel like I forgot to do something, like I don't feel good about it. Um, but I also want to read a bit of my spiritual book as well. So I'm really trying to incorporate that spirituality. 
Um, and I do want to make a focus for it. Okay. Even if I wake up early Friday morning and do some spiritual stuff, I think that would be fun. Okay. So I think that's it. But see, this is like how my, my process is, right? Like it's, it's more involved than people might think. Um, and of course this video took a lot longer too, because I'm trying to explain to you guys at the same time as I'm writing. So it, it does take a little bit longer. So now because I have everything written down here, I'm just going to move this down here. So I have space. You can see everything on the page. Now the important thing here is to basically write everything out so that it fits and it makes sense. Um, they always say progress, not perfection, and like less is more. But for me, in order to get all of this on here, I really do cram it in. Um, so I'm going to work on that. Um, what you're going to see on here is just like a nicer, laid out, tidier version of this. So we're, let's work on that, but I'll speed this part up. Okay, so now this is pretty much the epitome of like all of the work that we did, right? Like it has all of the dates, it's got all of the things. And this is like my reference in my, like I don't have to have it in my head anymore. This is my reference for everything that goes into my planner. So a lot of times before I start planning on every Thursday, so I, I write my plans on Thursday into my planner um, with you guys on camera. So that's what my weekly plan with me is for. I take this and I reference it before every weekly plan with me. Um, and this is basically like my main, you know, my main plan. It's like, this is where it comes from. So I use all of this brainstorming, um, all of this work that we've done. And this is usually how long it takes me. Like I will think of everything. And if I um, miss stuff, I will come back, of course, and add it. Right. And then I add it toward my, to my planner as well, but I'll come here and I'll say, okay, what do we have going on for the first week of November? And I'm like, oh, you know, not that much. So let's get, um, you know, let's do that poll for my, my YouTube channel or whatever. Right. So I'm like, I can focus on that. When I know that things are a bit busy, like here, I've got an appointment. So Tuesday is my blog writing day. I'll make sure I get up at five and do my blog that day. Right. Um, and then I won't really schedule anything else. So it's important that I get the things done when I schedule them. Um, and, but it, but it's also hard. Like I, I don't schedule myself hourly because of the kids. So as long as I get whatever my top three are during that day, I get that done. I'm happy. Right. And then that also makes you productive because the more happy you are, the more you want to do more. Right. Um, and then sometimes it's also nice to just say, okay, I've done my three things. I don't need to do more. I'm going to go relax now. And then tomorrow I'll start fresh and I'll feel good because guess what? I have time to go sleep now. So, I mean, that doesn't always work out for me because my kids wake up at four in the morning. Um, like my baby, oh, we had a rough night. The last like four or five nights have been rough. Um, but, you know, it is what it is when you have small kids. So this is a, a nice way to organize myself. And when I am super busy, like obviously we're going into December, so it's going to be busier. I have to add bars. So here I've added a bar at the top for pantry basement. I've added a bar at the bottom for all of this stuff I almost forgot to add. And then all of these things like yard winterization, I broke it up into weekly increments. Um, this would be, uh, let's see. So the 27th is when they come to pick up. Waste. So I just wrote that down there. Um, 
but anyway, this is a good reminder, right? So now here I am, if I go through this, I go through this daily. Every morning, before I start my planning routine in the morning, I look at this and I'm like, okay, what did I do yesterday that I can cross off? Now, what can I do today that I'll be able to cross off tomorrow morning? So that's how I look at it. And I think that's what I would like to show in December. I wanna show you guys how I use this but I did this last year too. But I want to show you how I use this in conjunction with my planner routine and my Franklin planner and how it helps me to be more organized, efficient, productive, and how I get things done every day and how I go to bed feeling good because I did get everything I wanted to get done. So anyway, that's it for today's video. I apologize that it was so long. I'm going to cut out all the parts where my baby was screaming and laughing and yelling and where I was talking to him. So that'll be good. Um, but I hope that this helped you. And it's a good time to do it now. Um, and another thing too, I put wrap it up before Christmas. So really, if you have goals that you are working on that you're wrapping up, like <clears throat> something for us, a big one is our Swedish death cleaning. So that basically is cleaning up our house, getting rid of everything that we don't need lying around that's useless or that we haven't used in like over a year unless it's seasonal like Christmas items, um, stuff that is sitting on a shelf collecting dust and you're like why is it here i'm not doing anything with it let me get rid of it um so we've been working on that well i've been working on that my husband's been busy working <laughs> um but i've really been just trying to tidy up our home get things done and i really look at christmas as a month to relax and to decorate and to enjoy it you know, to not have to be busy working on our basement or working on adding things to the Facebook buy and sell. Because during Christmas, during the month of December, I want to cozy up on the couch with a good book, a cup of hot cocoa with peppermint in it, or watch like one of those holiday movies that are all mushy, mushy, and just like relax and do fun things. Take my kids out tobogganing on a nice day, you know? So I want to be able to wrap all this stuff up. I don't want to sit on it anymore and carry it forward to the next month because as we move from December into January, I'll be setting new goals and focusing on new content and new things. So I really want to get this stuff taken care of now. So anyway, I hope that gives you guys some inspiration, some ideas to work on in your own goal planner or your planner or wherever you do your goals. Um, you don't necessarily have to have this book or use this method, but I find that it really helps me. And um, I mean, I've always been, I've always goals, I've always done goal setting, but until I actually purchased the power sheets, I didn't really know how to do it. I mean, I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, just the physical fact act of writing it down in this like spreadsheet helps me, you know, to see it on paper instead of just seeing it in a journal. Like I, it, to me, it makes more sense for me to do it this way. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'd love to have you. If you'd love to subscribe to my channel, I always am looking to grow and, um, like join our family here on YouTube because that'll help me. It helps you. You get new inspiration. Um, usually I post, you know, new videos at least once a week. And um, yeah, so if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see when I post new videos, click the bell button. Um, and that's it for me. So I will see you guys again in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next time. Bye, friends.